So we aren't doing a deep clean, but we are going to make our bed and we're gonna pick up any clothes that have gotten tossed on the floor that morning or the night before, put them on the laundry bin, put any shoes away. And if you have any laundry in your bedroom that needs to be folded, fold that. <laughs> My name is Amanda and I run the blog Faith in Home. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome. My channel is all about encouraging women in their biblical roles. So if you are interested in a Christian perspective on homemaking, uh, marriage, womanhood, and all those kind of things, then make sure that you subscribe down below so you'll be notified of all my future uploads. In today's video, um, don't mind Milo, <laughs> he is just chilling on the bed. This is his favorite place in the house, arguably. Um, but in today's video, we are going to be talking about six things that you should be doing every day to keep your home clean and tidy. So of course, you know, you're gonna have your weekly schedule of areas that you're deep cleaning in your home. Um, but on a daily basis, these are things that you can be doing to just really make your home seem clean. Because sometimes throughout the week, um, the areas of the house that you haven't touched in a week get dirty and pile up and those things can get overwhelming. Um, but if you just do a few simple steps every day, then they won't pile up and your house will just last being clean throughout the week, even on your off days of deep cleaning those areas. Okay, so number one is to make your bed in the morning and just tidy up your bedroom super quickly. So we aren't doing a deep clean, but we are going to make our bed and we're gonna pick up any clothes that have gotten tossed on the floor that morning or the night before, put them on the laundry bin, put any shoes away, and if you have any laundry in your bedroom that needs to be folded, fold that, put it away in the morning, just clear out your bedroom for the day. So when you come through your bedroom throughout the day, um, it's a relaxing atmosphere. It's really nice and super essential to have your bedroom just be somewhere that you can come and take a five minute break if you need to and relax and you can't relax in a room that is cluttered and hectic and has clothes sprawled out everywhere your bed's messy it's just not good it's so much nicer to come to a made bed um at night too than to have to make it and like get your sheets all worked out and everything right before you go to sleep you're gonna be tired you're not gonna want to deal with that make your bed in the morning and it makes a huge difference and it makes your house looks so much cleaner. Like if your bedroom is clean, I feel like when you have guests over, your bedroom is usually the room that you try to hide people from. But if your bedroom is clean, like that makes your house just seem 10 times cleaner than it actually is because that's usually where people let everything pile up and just go crazy. So just take five minutes. It takes like two or three minutes to make your bed. And then a couple minutes just to get everything up off the ground, throw any trash that needs to be out, put any dishes on your nightstand downstairs unless you're using them. Like I'll usually have a coffee cup in the morning with tea or something or coffee and I'll be using that throughout the day. So I'll leave it there. But any excess um, cups or dishes or anything that may have piled up, clear it out. You're going to love it. It's going to make your house seem so much cleaner. The second thing that you should be cleaning every day is your bathroom counters. So when you're getting ready, brushing your teeth, putting in your contacts, if you wear contacts, doing your makeup, doing your hair, put all of those things away. Don't let all your utensils, your makeup brushes, your makeup, your hair tools, whatever, stay on your bathroom counter. I hate clutter and clutter makes your house look so much messier than it actually is. Like even if you cleaned your bathroom that's like the day before, if you leave a ton of stuff piled on your uh, sink and counters, it's not going to look like it's been cleaned for like a week. So clutter seriously is 
the worst and it's gonna make your house look so much messier even though it's not like actual like dirt mess it's just things piling up so take care of the things put the things away put it in the drawers make this a habit it literally takes no extra time this was actually something that I was um, kind of against at first when I uh, moved in with my husband, it was, that was something that his mom always did and he really liked it, but that was not a principle that I had growing up of cleaning off my counters and stuff. Not that I never, like, I never let them get too crazy, but I just didn't make it a habit of always clearing everything off after I got ready every day. Um, but it makes a huge difference. It's something that I do now and I know it makes my husband happy. It makes me happy. And I swear, just do it. It's great. Also, I recommend doing a quick wipe off of your counters every day because with makeup and hairspray, toothpaste, all those kind of things, I just feel like your bathroom counters get so gross so fast. Like it doesn't matter if you clean them yesterday. I find that mine is getting grime on it like every day. So just do a quick wipe. Have like a rag in your bathroom or near your bathroom so it's not far. It takes like 10 seconds just to wipe it up really quick. It's not a big deal and it makes a huge difference of keeping your bathroom looking clean. Now, of course, you don't need to wipe off bathroom counters that don't get used. Like if you have a guest bathroom, don't feel like you have to wipe that off every day if it's not like a high traffic area. But definitely in your own bathroom, in your kid's bathroom, make this a habit where everything just goes away right away and it gets put in its place and then wiped up really quick. It takes no time and it makes your house look so much cleaner. The third thing that you should be cleaning every day to just keep your house looking clean at all times is doing one load of laundry. I challenge you, just do one. You don't have to go crazy. You don't have to do multiple. I know some people save up and pile up all their laundry and just have one laundry day a week. To me, that's so overwhelming and it's also gonna make your house feel less clean throughout that week. You're not gonna be able to find clothes that you wanna wear if you tend to wear a lot of the same things. I know that that would never work for me and my husband because my husband, even though he has a ton of clothes, wears like the same four shirts on repeat. So doing a load of laundry day is great. This is a lifestyle thing. If it doesn't work for you, if you like your one laundry day a week, Go ahead, keep doing that, but just give doing one load of laundry a day a try first. I swear by it. My laundry basket never gets full in my uh, hamper in the closet or in the laundry room. And it's just so great. Like I don't really like folding clothes that much, but if I don't have a lot of clothes to fold, it is not a big deal at all. So one load of laundry is super great. It's not daunting when I get to it. I just throw it in in the morning, dry it at some point throughout the afternoon and fold it by the end of the day. Not stressful at all. And it makes a huge difference of how clean your house looks because there's no pile up throughout the week and you can just find what you're looking for easier because most likely it's not in the laundry bin. Or if it's in the laundry bin, you're consistently looking at the laundry bin and sorting out different loads of clothes. So you know it's in the laundry bin. You know where to find it and you can easily wash it and get it ready. The fourth thing you should be cleaning every day is clutter. So things pile up on the floors. I'm not even a mom yet. I'm expecting to have one coming on the way in April, but I have dogs and dog toys and I have a husband and clutter just happens. So especially if you're mom, this is probably going to be even more essential. But even if you aren't, clutter still happens. You're still leaving the house, bringing things in, picking up the mail, um, all those kind of things. Don't have like an actual junk drawer. Don't allow yourself to do that. Just take care of clutter as it happens. Have like a designated time every day to spend 10, 15, 20 minutes, however much you need um, to take care of clutter. Just, and that doesn't mean doing anything crazy. It doesn't mean deep cleaning. It means taking things off the floor, putting them where they go. If you have kids, make this something that they help you out with. Sorting your mail right away and not letting like actual junk drawers happen. Everything, just put it away as you see it out of place. I swear it's gonna make your life so much easier and it's gonna make your house way 
cleaner. Just as you notice things are out of place, put them away. Now, for dog toys, I only do this once a day because dog toys, they're gonna keep taking the toys out. I'll put them in the bin, they're gonna take them out. I'm not gonna stress about it all day. But once a day, I will put them in the bin and get rid of all the toys on the floor and just get rid of that clutter. Same thing for kids. You know, you're probably not gonna be wanting to be like on top of it all the time. I mean, your kids should learn how to help put away their toys too. But as you know, some toys get misplaced. Don't like feel like you constantly have to be so stressed and worried about it. But just as a principle, like once a day, take care of all the clutter. You know, take care of your mail. Sort anything that needs to go in file drawers right away. Don't just let it pile up because it is so easy, so easy to let things pile up and take over your life. And clutter seriously makes your house look so, so much dirtier than it is. Even though it's just a pile up of kind of useless things or things out of their place, it just makes your house look dirty. So taking care of anything that's out of its place, putting it in its place, once a day makes a huge difference in how clean your home seems. So the fifth thing that you should be cleaning every day is your kitchen. Clean up after meal time. Now this may be multiple times a day, depending on how many meals you're making or just after dinner. But I like to, throughout the day after every meal, put all the dishes in the dishwasher, get that sorted. And then after dinner, I will do a little bit more cleaning. So not only will I do all the dishes, but I will wipe off all the counters. This makes a huge difference. It's just nice to wake up to a clean kitchen to not have to worry about dishes. You know, maybe you'll have to put away dishes because your dishes from the night before are clean, but that's not a big deal. I'm not mad about putting away dishes. I'd much rather do that than wake up to a full sink of dishes from the day before. I like to be on top of my day, not behind from the day before. So yeah, just quick wipe off of the counters at night and making sure any spills or messes throughout the day in the kitchen got cleaned up and doing the dishes. We're not doing a deep clean every day, just a light clean will make your once a week or even once every other week kitchen clean last longer. Now my sixth and final tip for keeping a clean and tidy home every day is to clean your floors. And this doesn't necessarily mean that you have to vacuum or sweep your like whole house every day or mop or any of that this is just high traffic areas that get dirty pay attention to and take care of on a daily basis so for me this is probably the kitchen my house we have two dogs so i actually do vacuum my whole house every other day because that's just what's needed we have two dogs we have two cats we get a lot of hair buildup and we also live in the high desert so we get a ton of dust that just builds up way faster here but that being said i don't vacuum my whole house every day that's just not super practical for me um but sweeping if you make a mess if you get a lot of crumbs sweep that up that's what i'm saying i'm not saying that you have to be crazy about your whole house every day do you like the whole house kind of clean up on an as needed basis? If you don't have pets, if you don't have kids, it's probably going to be less often. If you have kids, you're probably going to need a vacuum every other day like I do, if not more. Um, but yeah, if you just make a spill, then make sure to wipe it up right away. Don't wait for later throughout the week. Like get it cleaned up, get it taken care of. If there's crumbs on the floor, just sweep them up really quick. Make it easy on yourself and don't let things pile up. Plus, no one likes things sticking to their feet. So if you have a lot of crumbs building up, make sure just to take care of it that day and not wait for your like specific cleaning day for that section of floors. Just get it taken care of right away. It's going to seriously make the biggest difference in how clean your house looks and feels. And seriously, emphasis on the feels because like I said, no one likes stepping on crumbs and dirt. That's just gross. So that's a super easy way that isn't going to take you much time if you're just doing the high traffic areas that need it. Um, and it's going to make a big difference. All right, you guys, those were my six tips of areas that I feel like are super essential for cleaning up every day and make the biggest difference in how clean 
your home looks and feels. So I'm curious, let me know if you have any other areas that you clean on a daily basis that you swear by and think make the world of a difference. I would love to hear them. I'm always trying to up my homemaking game and make my house seem cleaner with minimal effort. And I feel like all these things are super minimal, only take five or 10 minutes a day, and they make a huge impact on just how clean your home feels throughout the whole week. I hope you guys enjoyed these tips. If you did, make sure to like the video down below. That helps us get seen by many more people. And also make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can get reminded of my future uploads. I will see you guys next time. Bye.